we at Digit often get to test some really high-end laptops with dual displays and 4K OLED panels. But the review requests we usually get from our viewers are for cheaper, everyday used laptops like say, the new ASUS VivoBook 14. So when we receive two laptops in the entry-level range with a similar price tag but with very different characteristics, we thought we should compare them on video. So the question we're asking ourselves today is, if your new laptop budget is somewhere between 20,000 and 30,000 rupees, should you buy a typical Windows laptop with a traditional hard drive and 4 GB RAM or get a Chromebook? And this question has suddenly become more pertinent because there's finally an affordable Chromebook in the Indian market. HP recently launched the Chromebook 14 at 22,990 rupees. For that money, you get an Intel Celeron CPU, 4GB of RAM and a 64GB eMMC flash drive. Being a Chromebook, it runs Chrome OS, which is visibly lighter than Windows 10 because it's essentially the Chrome browser with support for Android apps through the Google Play Store. Let's compare that to a Windows powered equivalent in the same price range. For our video, we thought we'd pick the recently launched Lenovo IdeaPad S145. For 32,690 rupees, you get it with an Intel 8th Gen Core i3 CPU, 4GB of RAM and a 1TB hard drive with integrated graphics. Let's see how the two compared. Chromebooks are usually known for their short boot times when compared to Windows laptops, but the visual difference on our test units was evident. The Chromebook took no more than 35 seconds to cold boot to the desktop, while the Windows machine took about 2 minutes 25 seconds to get to the same place. Opening Gmail in Chrome took 7 seconds on the Chromebook and about 35 seconds on the Windows laptop. Now that's a big difference. Opening a 2.4 MB PDF file took about 3 seconds on the Chromebook and about 15 whole seconds on the Windows laptop. It was the same case with other file types such as JPG and MP4. To our surprise, a 1 MB Word document was the fastest to open on the Windows laptop. Now, it's easy to tell from all these times that the Chromebook has the upper edge by a great margin. Yes, with a Windows laptop at around 25,000 rupees, you get a lot of storage and the ability to run full-fledged Windows applications, but you may not be able to run them all very well if the specs inside are no good. So then, if all you're planning to do is check your email, browse lightly and watch a couple of videos occasionally, consider getting a Chromebook instead. You only get 64 gigabytes of flash storage, but you can always use Google Drive, Dropbox or other cloud storage services. What's more, you usually get USB-C for charging and data transfer along with a couple of USB-A ports. So what have we learned from this quick video? We've learned that a Chromebook is definitely good value if all you care about is light browsing and a few video watches. So go ahead and check out the new HP Chromebook 14. It costs 22,990 rupees and it's good value overall. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will see you in the next one. Ta-ta.